Okay, we're on our way to the surgery centre because our son is having surgery today and there is a crash. I mean, he's having tubes <coughs> put in both his ears and he's, I don't know, he's removed. So it's going to be a long, busy day. It's an awesome Lego tower. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You got some more? Awesome. Could get that one. They finally just came, got our son and took him away to surgery. So right now we've got to sit here in this um, little family conference room, wait until it's all over and they'll bring him back to see us. We've got a lot of paperwork that we've got to read and kind of sort through for after the surgery. The surgeon just came in and had a word with us and told us that the surgery went fine, not a problem at all. So now we're just going to sit here and hopefully they'll bring our son back to see us maybe about 30 minutes or so, give him a little bit of time to wake him up. But all went well. Well, we finally got Connor to bed. He's um, he's okay. A little bit of blood coming from his nose, some blood from his ears, and he's a wee bit cranky, which is to be expected. But um, right now, I'm just going to have a hot coffee and a sausage McMuffin and let Connor take a good nap. So I just wanted to check in with you guys and give you a quick update. Um, after a long day, we finally got Connor in bed. When we got home today, he did take a nap, which maybe lasted about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes, and then he got it back up again. When he got up, he actually seemed pretty fine. He was okay. He was playing around here with his toys and stuff, little smile on his face, giggling and laughing. But then he would seem tired and he would just take a quick nap on the floor, wake up, start playing again, take another nap and so on and so on. But he seemed pretty good. You really couldn't tell that he had um, surgery that morning. So that was good. Uh, the, the only thing is, he really did have a lot of congestion running from his nose, which we were told. So 
the only advice that I could give people if your kids are going underneath this procedure, have at least three boxes of tissues handy. Because, trust me, every 30 seconds, 40 seconds, you'll just be wiping, wiping, constantly wiping snot and blood from their nose. And when I say blood, I don't mean thick, bright red blood, just, you know, clear, liquidy, liquid sort of blood, you know, just a little bit of red in it. But be prepared, we've literally been wiping his nose all day. And the other thing I would suggest, if your child is going, going for this procedure, like our son is 19 months old, it would be great if both parents were there. Because while one parent, like myself, was holding my son while they were hooking him up to the monitors and trying to get him prepped for surgery, he was just screaming. Like, absolutely screaming, and I'm trying to keep him calm. But at the same time, my wife was talking to, like, three or four different nurses, two different doctors, and they're all giving her information and questions that, you know, she wanted to ask and stuff like that. As well as, she had to sign a lot of forms. She had to initial and date a lot of forms as well. So, you can imagine if you're there by yourself, you're trying to keep your child nice and calm while they're getting prepped for surgery, and you're having all these forums to deal with, and lots of different people to talk to, it could be stressful. So, if both parents can't make it, I would suggest maybe a close friend or a family member go along with you, just to help you, because you will need it. The other thing I would like to say is that we got the surgery done here in Huntsville, Texas, at the surgery centre, and i got to be honest, the staff were brilliant, absolutely perfect. Everybody was very friendly, made sure we were comfortable, you know, always came over and checked on us, checked on Connor, so it, it really went well. Now, um, I think, basically for me, after it was said and done, it wasn't as bad as what I thought it would be. When you get told that your 19 month old son has to have surgery, your brain starts running, yeah. But it wasn't that bad. Basically, we checked in about seven o'clock that morning and by 9.30, we were already leaving. The procedure itself, I believe, takes 15 minutes for them to wheel him away and get him to sleep then another 15 minutes for the actual procedure. So the whole thing for them is 30 minutes, which by the way, will be the hardest part for you when you have to hand over your child to the nurse for them to wheel them away. And that's going to be heartbreaking. That's going to be the hardest part. But um, all in all, it went well, it was successful. Connor's in bed, he's sound asleep. We're about to go to bed because we're exhausted. We've been up since like roughly 6 a.m. So it's been a long day. But thanks for watching this video.